Girls, girls, excuse me, but the hunk's here. This is Mr. Green, official hunkiest teacher. In fact, the only remotely hunky teacher at our school. And even better, he teaches art, my best subject. And he smells of peaches. Hi, class. OK, today I'm going to set you off drawing some self-portraits. Now, the important thing to remember about good portraits is they tell us something about the person. Now, what I like about this one is that it uses colour really well. It really lets us know how Nadine feels. She feels terrible. She always feels terrible. Good work, Nadine. Oi. <laughs> Sir, Ellie says this isn't any good. What do you think? Oh, Ellie, this is, uh, this is really good. Look what it does, everyone. Not only does it capture Ellie, but it also shows her confusion and sense of fragmentation. Well done, Ellie. Great stuff. Like that. Fantastic work on last week's assignment. Glad to see you taking such an interest in art. Must be Ellie's influence. Cute key ring, Mr. Green. It's actually a postmodern comment on popular culture. Right. So, do your kids like trolls? I don't have kids. Oh, I thought you were married. No. Maybe you haven't found the right girl. I'm going to be back in a moment. I'm just going to pop to my locker. I'm about to show you a painting you've seen a hundred times before. But this time, you're going to look at it in a completely new way. Magda's really lost it. Now, the big mystery at the heart of this painting. Who is the woman in the portrait? Well, they must be in love, Mr Green. Have you ever been in love like that? Uh, <clears throat> yes, that, that, that's possible, Magda. Um, she could be Leonardo's girlfriend. Some people think she's a member of the aristocracy. Now, the essay that I'm about to set you is worth 20% of your assessment grade. Please so tell me this is about you getting an A. Girls, <laughs> please, I am trying to explain your essay topic. Yeah, girls. Quiet while Mr. Green's talking. So, who is the real Mona Lisa? That's your essay topic for this week. Now, you're going to need to do some research. There's some articles here that can help you. I want every member of the class to come up with their own theory and evidence to back it up. I can't believe she means that. Girls, if your gossip is more interesting than the Mona Lisa, then I think we all deserve to hear about it. <laughs> Nadine, please, read it out. No, Mr Green, it's not that interesting. Oh, come now, Magda. I'm sure it's absolutely fascinating. Nadine? Well, Nadine, I uh, don't condone note sending, but uh, you do get full points for originality. <laughs> you owe me big time for this. Isn't Mr. Green so cute when he smiles? <laughs> but last night. Hey, Ellie. Mr. Green? It's Magda. Magda who? Magda from Year 9? Yeah. There's someone following me. Can I come in? Yes, yes, of course. You just walked in. Just like that. Are you mental? Magda. Mr Green. Are you okay? Is everything alright? I'm great, thanks. Well, shall I call the police or...? Um, 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 no. The guy who was following me. I thought you said you were scared. Um, I'm thirsty. Can I have a drink? Yeah. How do you know I lived here? Well, 
I was passing through, like I said, and someone was following me. All oh, right. But when you pressed my buzzer, how did you know that it was my apartment? Good point. <laughs> Baron, what's going on? Uh, Miranda, this is one of my year nine pupils, Magda. Magda, this is my girlfriend, Miranda. <coughs> oh, dear. <coughs> well, this was nice. Um, maybe we can do it again sometime. Thanks for the water. Uh, Darren, don't you think we ought to call, um... Oh, sorry, is it Madeline? Magda. Don't you think you'd better call Magda's parents? I don't think that's necessary. <laughs> Darren can have a little chat with them. Right, Darren? Yeah. The number, Magda? It was the most humiliating experience of my whole life. So, what are you gonna do? The only thing I can do? Act like it never happened. Oh, no. One small step for babe kind, one giant leap for Magda. Saying sorry doesn't come easy. <coughs> ah, Magda. Mr Green. About yesterday, I want to, uh, uh, apologise. Perhaps I had to admit I that I'd done wrong, just so like Magda. Yesterday, and I hope it doesn't affect our working relationship. Uh, no. No, of course not. I'm still your teacher, you're still my pupil. Great. So I'll see you after lunch, Mr G. Magda, if you don't mind, it's... Mr. Green? So funny. Mag, about tonight. I've got to be home by 8.30. No problem, babes. Still got four hours shopping time. OK. How about we continue with the abstract work we started last week? Does that suit everyone? Greg, can I help you? <laughs> what are you doing here? I've told you we're not on speaking terms. I I'm not leaving until you give me a second chance. Greg, I really have to insist that you return to your own class. Truth is, I... I've never felt this way about anyone before. I can't stop thinking about you. Aww. Just, Just one day, Magda. It'll be the most romantic night of your life. I, I promise you won't regret it. <laughs> well, Magda... What do you think? OK. One date. Your date will have to wait till tomorrow. Greg's busy this afternoon. No, I'm not. I think you'll find you've got detention for interrupting my class. <laughs> <laughs> so Magda sorted. That just leaves me and the Dean. What? Is he going to go? Is he in a taxi? No, we got cut off. What are you girls doing out here at this time of night? Mr Green! Mr Green, we need to get to City Hospital. It's urgent. Thanks, Mr. Green. Say hello to your baby brother for me. Thanks, Mr. Green. Thanks. 